Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. And as always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm going to use my Animal Oracle cards and my Gilded Tarot. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right. All right, we got our three cards right there. So we have what you may be struggling with is use your mind wisely. What you need to focus on, surrender now. And then what we have for future energies is time for a deep dive. So I feel like it's, for some reason I was thinking that what you may be struggling with or the conflict is using your mind wisely in a situation. And with the surrender now is what you need to focus on is that don't focus on things that you can't control. Don't, for like for today, don't just let things go and kind of don't focus on those things that aren't serving you or aren't bringing you positive energy or aren't working for you, right? Because sometimes we have a tendency to be like, you know, that dog with a bone where we're focusing on something, but it's like you can't change it and you can't, um, you can't, focusing on it is only working negative, right? It's affecting your emotions. It's affecting the things that are happening for you. It's, it's kind of like realizing that if I focus on this negativity, what is it bringing to me? How is it helping me? When we have situations and we keep playing it over and over and over in our head, sometimes we think that we're going to come up with a solution, but it's almost like if you've done it so much and it's almost like you just keep focusing on that and you're ignoring the other things that you need to focus on. Like you have the power to for whatever it is that you're focusing on today, for whatever it is that you're, if there's, you have the power to use your mind wisely, to use it in a productive and, and motivational good way, like however that works for you. And like you have that power. So don't doubt that, so, so, don't doubt <laughs> My brain is so excited, my mouth can't keep up with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so what you need to focus on, <laughs> all right, is to let go of what's not serving you. Again, today is to focus on what works for you and helps motivate you and what you can what brings you positive energy, especially with the King of Swords being there. What brings you positive energy? Focus on your plus column today. Focus on your plus column. Energy coming in, Queen of Swords, you can do it. Um, oh, that's interesting. The hanging man is upside down. <laughs> I thought he was right side up, but he's not. He's upside down. Okay. I feel like with the hanging man, it's almost like the hanging man is looking directly at this queen of swords. And I feel like it's a sense of clarity for this energy that comes in. And I feel that it's, today is the day where you realize that you can control, you have power to use your mind wisely to let go of the things that don't serve you. And that when you, like it's, the day to start training yourself that when you start to go down that rabbit hole that you stop yourself from doing that and you say I'm not going to do that I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole I'm not going to put myself in that energy and when you realize that that's what you need to focus on and that's what you need to do then you can start catching yourself and training yourself for that And it gives you a sense of security, uh, or not, uh, it gives you a sense of clarity and seeing, I see how much time I've wasted on things that don't serve me. All right, so I'm actually doing, 
hearing the message, there is a message for you today. Okay. There is a message for you today. I'm actually recording this. Let's see. It is 840. So I'm hoping to get this uploaded and posted. So I just want to say good morning to everyone. If you're watching this today at nine o'clock, um, I just feel really excited today. I feel really happy today. And I want you to feel that same way. And I want you to hear the message that and I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising and I've done the same thing where I focus on those negative things and I haven't used my mind wisely. And you have the power to do that too. And that's what I say is like, you guys are on the journey, this journey with me. Like we're all in this together, no matter what sign you are or where you are, is that we're, my journey, my journey that I am taking is to have a positive, happy life. <clears throat> And everyone that's on board, be on board, right? Everyone that's on board, be on board. And I share those things that help me to find the positivity because I've definitely had my decades of not happiness and struggling and, you know, the, having those personal challenges. But I've always been a fighter and I've always tried, I've, I'm always trying to learn and grow and to find that 10 of cups and be in that 10 of cups. And I feel like I'm in that 10 of cups now. And that's what my channel is about finding positivity, finding those things at work, finding that refocus, you know, being your cheerleader to say that you can do it, you can focus, it can happen for you. But it's all about your mindset, right? You have to hear the message, it has to click, it has to make sense, you have to take actions, right? You can't sit back and say, it's not going to, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. But if you sit back and you say, negative, 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 it's not going to happen, the world is a bad place, bad things happen to me. That's the energy that you're putting yourself in. I don't want to be in that energy anymore. And that's what my channel is about. My message to you is positivity. You're powerful. Use your mind wisely. Surrender what doesn't work for you, right? Take that deep dive and say, what are those things that I can change? What are those things that I can do, right? Seeing things from all perspectives and just waking up and, you know, going outside and looking for the positive things and not looking for the negative things, right? Take that break. Dream and dream big. That's what I feel that to me, that's what this card represents is dream and dream big. Go after your dreams. Yes, you're going to be challenged. Why are you challenged? To see how you are dedicated to make the changes, even if it's, if it's not even like something, that, it's the challenges within yourself to say, yeah, you're going to have those times where you're going to struggle and you're going to, but how do you react to those times of difficulty? Do you give in and let go or do you push forward and you pull yourself up? And you keep going, right? How how do you react to that, right? Being powerful and strong, just like that Nine of Wands and saying, I'm not giving up. You're going to have people that are going to knock you down. You're going to have situations that are going to knock you down. But you pick yourself back up and you keep going and you don't give in and you don't give up. And that's what my channel is about, is to be there to support you, to have those messages, you know, that say, keep going, keep do doing it. You can do it. All right, I'm going to grab a witch casket, a magical incantation. We have stamina. I love it, stamina. I conjure the power to stay my course. I bring to me almighty force, right? That stamina, that strength to not give in, to use your mind wisely, to see those places that, you know, you may be falling short or you feel that you feel weakened by that. What are those things that you can do to pull yourself up and, you know to push yourself forward. You can do it. All right. We're all, we're all in this together. We're all going to do this together and we're all going to have our 10 of cups or whatever those dreams or goals are that we want to achieve and that we're going to make those things happen. Right. The queen of cups is looking right at the justice card and she's saying, okay, I'm going to make this happen. I'm not going to put that power into anyone else's hands except for my own. And that I'm in control of what I focus on and using my mind wisely. All right. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. All right. Amazing month. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.